Hey guys, this is Constantine again from Palo Alto, California, the very heart of Silicon Valley. And I realize that many people watch my videos, but not all subscribe. So you who are watching me now, push this red button. You will get more great content from our company and also you will support young startup in Silicon Valley and sooner we will get those beautiful self-driving cars everywhere. So do it. Today I'm gonna tell you about one great company in our space, self-driving space, who actually do very great progress in developing those beautiful self-driving cars and that company called Zoox. So several facts about that company. Uh, first, it started originally with two guys. One of them uh, was a designer. And this is very interesting, you know, because visualization is so important for startups, for young businesses, because when they just started to sell their idea, it probably was difficult. But when you have something tangible, when you have something to show, this is very good. This is support you enormously. And that's what they did. They drove very beautiful self-driving cars, future cars, level 5 cars. Uh, it means cars without any steering wheel. It's fully autonomous. People just sit there and travel somewhere. It was their original idea and they realized the uh, technological side of it. So, uh, their vision was to start with that design, then to develop technology, and then to connect it together. So now I think they are more on this technological uh, technology side, and they just recently posted a video where you can see uh, their progress. So it's very well described what they do and how their car navigates itself on the traffic. So I will post the link for their video below my video if you want to see, please watch this video it's very interesting and they uh, describe all the way from Stanford University uh, Slack facility to their office uh, in San Francisco and Barcadero it's like one hour drive and they explain what's happening on the road and it's fully autonomous like lights and other static road features you will soon see how a vehicle merges onto the freeway a maneuver that can be quite challenging in dense traffic so self-driving cars are not huge, it's already on the roads of California. You can see those cars. They did the, this test in February before um, coronavirus outbreak, so that's what uh, the video is about. Also what I wanted to add about that company is that I had a chance to meet with their technology on the streets of San Francisco and I was really excited about that because it was difficult for me to cross the road. No one stopped. It was busy road, but suddenly their car occurred on the road and they stopped on my zebra line on this crosswalk and all other drivers should follow the suit. So they all stopped in this line and I was able to cross. So I made a Twitter post about that. I was really happy because this is what we should expect from technology, from technological companies, that they should improve our lives. And this is exactly what happened with me. So when you just hear about those self-driving cars, you just think, okay, it's sci-fi, it's the future, but it's happened with me. It's helped me to cross the road because I wanted to cross. No one stopped, but Zook's car stopped in this line and I just, I was able to cross. This is what should technology bring us. I was really excited about that and I'm still excited about that company future. Um, there are some rumors that they will have, um, that they now negotiating uh, about buying deal with Amazon. So it's very interesting, the story. I hope this company will succeed in their uh, mission, in their vision of building those beautiful cars. And good luck for them. It was Konstantin from Palo Alto. Thank you guys. Bye.